Uh, we have a ants problem issue in this house. I kind of have a feeling we got scammed. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a little doggy, look at this guy. Is he cute? So now, if you hear a dog while I'm talking, it's because this guy is mad at me. The other day when we did the shed, actually, Grace had the tent out here and she was going to put the tent inside of a bag. All right, so this is a tent that we bought last year and I've got to fit it all in this tiny little bag right here. I guess it never happened because it's right here. We'll figure it out. But first, let's start with the yard. Let's cut all the branches, the leaf, get things out of the way a little bit. Summer's coming and it's coming very, very fast, guys. And these, I'm starting to learn a little bit. If I don't take them out now, I'm gonna be, they're gonna be overgrown and I won't see the end of it because it's gonna be very, very hard to get them clean because once the grass grow over the weed, you don't see the weed anymore. And uh, it's just get worse and worse after that, so. I think we should really invest in a lawnmower. Oh, my dad has one, is... he's gonna give us one. You serious? Yeah, we do have a lawnmower, uh, but the battery's broke. This is the battery. If you wanna buy a new one, it's about $300, which doesn't worth it because that thing, I think costs $300. Fortunately, my dad is going to give us one because he has one and he told me he was gonna give it to us. So dad, if you watch this, we need a lawnmower now. Uh, the shed hasn't moved because the kids don't wanna go in there anymore until I don't know what. Now, maybe it's too cold. I'm not too sure what's going on. I think be, be, since we found the mouse in there, maybe they just don't want to go in there. No, I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing to do. Oh, there's nothing to do in there. It's boring. So we have to remove those guys. This is crazy. Those maple trees, they're everywhere. There's so many of those. There's a whole forest growing like this. I put that black thing so weed don't grow anymore. Weed don't grow anymore, but then it helps trees to grow somehow. There's a big tree there, big tree there. So of course, they fall here, makes sense. What else would you do if you were a tree, right? Well, it is what it is. Let's get to it. So we're trying to remove that. We hit a roadblock. We're trying to remove those trees there because usually I'm too lazy. Every year I just cut them off the ground, but the roots still in there and every year they just regrow again. So now I'm trying to remove it. This one's a tough one. And this one I dig around it. And there's a giant adult. root at the bottom right here. Maybe we should cut the root at the bottom there. If I leave the root, I'm not sure if it's gonna regrow or not. It's gonna regrow. But it's at the same time, that thing must have like a root of like 60 feet long, so. It's, it's a wrestler, it. Papa. Siri kind of looks. You just got it. No, we didn't really get it. We just made it loose. It's like a tooth. We made it loose. Let's just cut the root and take it out. You want to do it? Yeah. Cut it. Oh, I think you got it. Or on the side here. Oh, all right. Pull this out. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So we just have to do the same with all the others. What do you think? Got part of it, but the rest is still in there, and I don't think we can. Uh, well, I don't think. I know we can't Wait, take it out. Fire? So we're just gonna leave it there to die. Hopefully Are you sure die. about that? We're getting like, I think we're getting strawberry. What are these? Last it's strawberries, we're growing strawberries. No, no last, like year, strawberry. last year we had raspberries. Kind of look like strawberry, but I'm not sure. The raspberries are right here. These are strawberry for sure. These look like bigger. I'm not sure about this. Oh, there's another one right next to it. Where's the shovel? So, can I help bite. you? Smooth the bike. Here you go, Papa. Papa, does that look like a foot? Yeah, we're gonna take it off. <laughs> it literally looks like a foot that, with the toes bumped. Who put a foot here? It's so ugly. <laughs> what is that thing? It Somebody is. put a foot here, guys. A foot. How dumb this is. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Babe. What? Damn, that stinks. You okay? What just happened? Oh. Who put the foot there? This guy here. And there's a reason for it because two years ago, we had a marmot making his path from the balcony all the way to the shed. So I put rock on top of it and I put that thing. But now apparently his Shed's track is right here. Lead. My foot went through the hole, look. Wow, so there's like a path for him. Yeah, his path is right here. Wow. There's a wire here. What is that? Oh, I think I hit a wire. You yeah, so be careful, weird. got this wires here, what's this? Yeah, so the marmot went through here all the way, see? Oh gosh. So, look at that. Why is this here? What is that? This guy, Whoa. he used it to prevent look. weeds from growing, you know? Worked really well. Yeah. All right, let's go back to our tree. All 
right, so we got three done today. It's a miracle. The third one, Gab took it out in the back over there. And oh guys, I wanted to tell you that uh, we have a ants problem issue in this house and they only come at spring. We never see them in the winter. In the summer, at this time of the year, they do come back and they go around the house, basically everywhere where there's water. They go in the, in the kitchen sink, they go around the bathroom. We called people to look into that. I kind of have a feeling we got scammed. It costed us $700 and I thought they were going to do some sort of treatment. Like, well, more than what they did. And um, they asked us to clean all the bushes around the house, which we did. And they put some uh, little seed. And the guy said that this is food. Basically what's gonna happen is the ants are gonna take it, bring it to the queen, the queen's gonna eat it, and she's gonna die. I feel like $700 for like what they did, which is putting little pellets of food around my house. I mean, the product cannot be that expensive, can it be? So basically it was one guy that came here, sprayed some seeds around my house, took a check of $700. Come on. He suggested us to buy a bottle too, to put the little powder inside of the crack of the foundation, which we did. That he said we should buy it and do it ourselves because he would have to charge us another $400. So I do feel like either everything is very, very super, super duper expensive or we're being scammed all the time. I'm not too sure. That one's gonna be very hard to remove though. I almost fainted. Can I some water for you? Okay. Yeah. I didn't eat anything since I woke up this morning. You should have food. More water? No, I'm good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hey, Papa, I have a question. Is it true that some people, when they started digging in their backyard, they found like unexploded nukes in their backyards? Yeah, but that would be in your rock, not here. Come look at this, Mama. Are you sure this is even possible? Yes. No. You know? Look, it was moving. a tree. Oh, I found the remain of an old Viking boat. Ha ha ha. I don't think this is ever going to happen, guys. It's not gonna happen today. I think it's gonna be for another day. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, give me the scissor, babe. My lower back hurt. Yeah, you don't overdo it. Well, if he's not dying, he's hurt now. Yeah, if anybody ever put out the tree and watch us, he's probably making fun of me right now. <laughs> oh. Whoa, we're going somewhere. What? Look at that, guys. Wow. Never give up. When you think it's impossible, never give up. Sit up. Check it out. Check. We're almost there. See? You got it. Never give up, guys. I was about to give up, huh? I was not giving up. I was about to do it tomorrow. You got it. Yes. I'm like Hercules. Oh, there's another one here, Devin. Wow, look at that one. Oh my god, I'm so happy I was able to take it out, guys. This tree was bothering me for so long. I'm exhausted, but very satisfied. All right, guys, thank you for being there. We love you. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, never give up. I just figured out I had something in common with my dad. I just worked really hard outside. No sweat, no sweat, barely any. But look, I sweat from the boob. Thanks, Dad. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.